Hey folks, welcome back to Indaba Africa. This is Chris, Central Pennsylvania. Breaking news out of South Africa where supporters today for suspended ANC Secretary General Ace Magashule showed up in an unlawful assembly. Apparently, according to Johannesburg Metro Police officials, was unlawful. It exceeded lockdown restrictions on crowd gatherings and quite a bizarre situation here. You see, it's rules for the rest of you, but not for the ANC cadre. Even their misbehaving children aren't sanctioned, apparently. There was a court case today in which Ace Magashule sought to have the ANC's decision to suspend him overturned but the court rejected that decision. Now, at this rally, the Daily Maverick claims that there were just over 100 people, but if you see the images, and there's actually a video which I'm unable to get, unable to get access to, but I've seen a video of it. If you see the images in the video, it's clearly well over 100 people. Of course, outside gatherings over 100 people currently banned, according to the National Coronavirus Command Council in South Africa, and good old Cyril Ramaphosa, who tells us as such. Today, as the ANC met, the National Coronavirus Command Council and President Ramaphosa to discuss even further lockdown measures in South Africa as the Maverick calls Hal Teng suffering from a tsunami under the current situation of new cases. Well, the court case didn't even take place at the court where all these people showed up. There was um, a virtual session using Microsoft Teams in which Magashuli and his legal team were in one location, an off-site venue, and all the judges were elsewhere. So there was no court presence despite the rally. Now, as I said, the Daily Maverick says there are photographers and reporters said it was just over 100 people, but that seems quite a shockingly low number when you look at these photographs. They were brought in by taxis under a banner called Hands Off Magashule, wearing ANC regalia. The crowd gathered first in small groups, then in a larger group, some with their mask off. Besides obvious supporters, there were passers-by in the Joe Berg Central Business District who stopped by to see what was going on. The level three lockdown regulations allow for outdoor gatherings of only 100 people, although the strength in the number of people here was far greater than 100. Johannesburg Metro Police Department closed four streets around the courts, um, and their spokesman, Zolani Fela, said that no permission had been granted for this rally, and the streets were closed to prevent crowds from gathering, prevent more people from showing up. So there you have it, folks. Rules for you, not for everyone else. Uh, Ace Magashule supporters show up. Now, is this the, the last gasp of a dying and exiled politician whose corruption has been exposed? Or is this rift in the ANC even greater than people have the impression? Outside the courthouse, Hanele Gumba and Magashuli supporters said that he was showing his support because I believe that this is a fight perpetrated by those who do not want to see his political career prosper. I believe that this has nothing to do with corruption. There is a concerted effort to get the Secretary General and ensure he kisses his political career goodbye. Ask why I believe Magashuli is being targeted. Gumi said Magashuli is destined for high office. Isn't it obvious that he will be president of the country? <laughs> well, there's one true statement there by this Magashuli supporter. And he said it has nothing to do with corruption. It doesn't. It has to do with the fact that he is the thorn in the side. And the president's made a promise to deal with corruption, which he's failed to do for four years. Magashuli will never be president of South Africa. Of course, <laughs> I said the same thing about Jacob Zuma. Not really. I suspected he would rise to that level because he knew where all the bodies were buried as the former chief of intelligence from Contouisi's way. He had all the dirt on all the ANC politicians, and that explains why the illiterate, incompetent, buffoon Jacob Zuma became president of South Africa. And it wouldn't be shocking to see Ace Magashuli somehow make his way to the top, but it seems unlikely at this stage. And he's not destined for high office. He's destined for a prison cell. Except in South Africa, the ANC doesn't persecute or prosecute its own corrupt members. Tony Ganey's brief prison sentence aside, a number of MK Military Veterans Association members, a group that's being disbanded, apparently also showed up as well. So there you have it, folks. Uh, situation in Johannesburg Central Business District today, the 24th of June, as Ace Magashule supporters show up in mass to protest and support him breaking COVID lockdown regu regulations. Are they constitutional? No, they're not, but it really doesn't matter because the ANC continues to employ them regardless of their constitutionality and regardless of the decision of the North Haltang High Court in June of 2020, a year ago, determining the ANC's measures to be unconstitutional. They continue to violate the Constitution, as do Ace Magashule supporters. Hey, if you're not a subscriber to Chris White Africa, take a moment, smash that button right down there, become a subscriber. We thank you for your patronage and your support of the channel. God bless.